Oh, hello there, it's again the Führer Redux, a Führer Reich expansion. Today we're gonna play as the Soviet Union with the father, with Vladimir Lenin, the great worst of the Soviet Union. Just look at this Soviet Union. Yeah, this Soviet Union isn't so strong and isn't so big as the Soviet Union in the real timeline in 1936, but we will make him bigger and greater than he was in the real history, so enjoy! And of course, Vladimir Lenin, for the start of the hour campaign, is still alive. Soviet history, come for the revolutionaries. We are the country of the great socialist revolution. As you can see, our field marshal is Mikhail Tukhachevsky, who is a red Napoleon of the Soviet Union. Lenin collapses. Death of the Vladimir Lenin. Death of the great Soviet worst. The Union mourns for comrade Lenin. Now our country is ruled by the Congress of Soviets. The fate of the Soviet Union. Within the chaos, which is happening in the Soviet Union, Marshal Tukhachevsky and the Loyal Red Army detachment march on the Congress of Soviet Union. Tukhachevsky storms the capital. Moscow is gonna be captured by the Red Bonaparte. Now he is leader of the Soviet Union. All Heil Tukhachevsky. Our goal for now is to stabilize the situation in the Soviet Union and make Tukhachevsky great again. Give all power of the Soviet Union to his hands. Yeah, Kalinin is arrested. Now we have problem with our divisions and the whole army. Purging the opposition is the good thing. We must do it right now. These debuffs are destroying our country, you can see them. Oh, and I forgot to say about our population. Our population now is 111 million people, but we need 250 million people to the end of the our campaign in the Soviet Union, or even 300 million people. Congress of Soviets? We haven't heard about it. What is it, Congress of Soviets? So the Moscow is secured. As well as the Russian Communist Party Bolsheviks controls the government of the Soviet Union and all parties. Stability returns to the Soviet Union. Order has been restored. Stability is the second name of the Soviet Union. Union of Regeneration wins the Russian elections in the illegitimate Republic of Russia. He isn't a good man, we need to destroy him. He needs to go to Gulag. Ha 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 ha, the London stock market crash. Capitalists, you are trapped. But we have a socialist economy, we have the plan economy. No market, no market rules. So the Soviet Union doesn't give a fuck about market crash in the London. Capitalists should suffer. Reds and whites, such a fun game. Big flopper with a war criminals would approve that game. This is such a fun game. Yep, big flopper. We are not doing the war crimes, we just want to eat pelmeni. Oh shit, here we go again. I don't want to commentate that fact that Huey Long now is the president of the USA. Jokes about Dick Long has no actuality. The last remnants of the resistance and the plotting of the Trotskists and anti-Soviets are finally being purged and dealt with. Yeah, finish the traitors. Now we have the Tukhachevsky Focus 3, Premier Tukhachevsky, and one of the most important focuses is the Great Industrialization Drive. Now we are not going by this Focus 3, first of all we need to industrialize the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union. It is the most important goal, cause we are gonna get the intervention into the other countries that were the parts of the Soviet 
to Soviet Union. That were the parts of the Russian Empire. And not only the Russian Empire. We're gonna spread the socialism in the whole world. How can Manjurians raid our borders? We don't even have borders with them. Like the most closest region to the Manjuria is Yakutia. Really? They can't raid Yakutia. Only Mongolians can raid Irkutsk or Altai Krai. Healthcare for the common man, for the proletariat, for, for the proletariat of the Soviet Union. Let's research the Premier Tukhachevsky, who is our new worst and the Red Bonaparte, Red Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, let's build the Palace of the Soviets. In the Russian, it names like Dvorets Sovietov, with the 100 meter highs the Vladimir Lenin statue. The worst is going to be big, very big. So the Polish imperialists have declared war on Slovak. They want to destroy the mountain general. They won't do it. The mountain general is going to survive. We trust in the mountain general. Well, Hungary has annexed the Slovaks, but they have puppeted them after that. So Polish imperialist has gained nothing. Awaken the Russian beer. But wait, it's not the Russian beer, it's the Soviet Union beer, it's the Soviet beer. Not only the Russian Socialist Republic is a member of the Soviet Union. USA has fucked up against the Mexico. Hola gringo. The Soviet dream has happened. The collapse of the USA has happened. That's a great one news. It's April 1949. And the German Reich has attacked the French Republic and the whole Entente. So we wish luck to the Entente, cause we don't need the German hegemony. Now Germans has attacked the Belgium and the Luxembourg. Oh, so the United Kingdom supports the German Reich. United Kingdom has declared war on the French Republic. Really? They want to destroy the Entente? What the fuck are you doing, United Kingdom? It is too strange even to the Soviet Union. Really, alliances of the United Kingdom and the Deutsche Reich. We are going to make our first move and destroy the Mountain Republic. Gain back these territories to the Soviet Union. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go and destroy the Mountain Republic. Goodbye Mountain Republic, goodbye. Mountain Republic has been destroyed. Now we are moving to the Central Asia to destroy the Transcaspian government. That was the part of the Russian Empire. At the beginning of the war we have already pushed the Tashkent. Turkmenistan as well as the Uzbekistan is clear. No forces of the Transcaspian government located right here. Oh, we have lost only 900 soldiers. Now we are going to Ashhabad to find Turkmen Bashir right there. Oh, Sweden wants to join our international. Yeah, welcome. You are social democrats, not socialists, but it's okay. Now you won't disturb me when I will have a war with the Finland, ha 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 ha. Oh, they have capitulated after taking Ashhabad. Now I'll move these forces back to the Europe. Cause in the near future we are going to invade the Eastern Europe. Deutsche Reich has declared war on Poland, so they are going to move in the Eastern Europe soon. We need to get ready to have war with the Deutsche Reich. Oh, so the Germans have balkanized uh, the whole Italy. Okay, now we can see Ostland and Poland. Oh, look at the Kingdom of Italy. They have left in a few places in the Europe as well in the Eritrea. And that's all. Oh, so now we are industrialized. That's good. That's fine. So our first move is going to safeguard the Estonian socialists. We need to deal fast with the East Europe because Deutsche Reich can also go there. They have capitulated the whole Entente. Yeah, they have declared war on Estonia, so we need to go fast to destroy Estonia. Okay, so let's demand the Finnish border too. Now we need to move fast on the Estonia, cause Deutsche Reich can take them too. Yeah, they have invaded, but we need to go fast onto the, into the Tallinn. Tartu is ours, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Tallinn is ours. The whole Estonia is ours. That's pretty good. I haven't seen that they have invaded the Belarus. We have started war with the Finland, so let's go to the Helsinki. Finland is going to be another republic of the Soviet Union. Yes, Helsinki is ours. 
One division will go to Tampere, another one will go to the Turku. And now we need to invade the Georgia. Ukrainian army will go there and the Finnish army will go there to the Georgia. <laughs> now Finland is a part of the Soviet Union. For now they must go fast to the border with Georgia, cause 12 days left to war with Georgia. Let's make the Finland the puppet of the Soviet Union. Yeah, it's the Socialist Finnish Soviet Republic, as you can see. And also Karelia is a core state of the Soviet Union, as well as the Sala, as well as the Petsamo. Haha, <laughs> Republic of Sweden has taken a land islands. Oh, the war with the Georgia has begun. Tbilisi is clear. Yeah, we have took Tbilisi. Now we are going from there to Batumi and these forces are going to Batumi too. They have captured Sochi. Let's gain back the Azerbaijan. Okay, so Georgia has capitulated. We'll take all their territories and incorporate them into the Soviet Union. Yeah, we are going to have war with the German Reich. German Reich wants to destroy us. Conquering Azerbaijan is so easy, you know? Oh, the Deutsche Reich has declared war. Right here and right now. Good job, but I, but I need to take Baku. United Kingdom wants to support me. Okay, I can even take a few provinces in Ukraine. At least I can try. Stay by this river. The new Republic of the Soviet Union is going to be created. Let's take these forces... Uh, hmm... Let's take them to Ukraine. The Great Patriotic War. Svishenna Vaina. For the motherland. Oh, so now German forces wants to attack us. No, Germans, you can't do that. We have even encircled one German division in Donetsk Oblast. Well, they are trying to push us, but that isn't going good for them. The Soviet army is doing the great counterattacks in Donetsk Oblast into the Ukrainian forces. Ukrainian forces aren't strong, they are too weak to fight with us. We need to move to the Dnieper and stay by the Dnieper. So let's make the first one great counterattack. First great counterattack is going good because Ukrainian force can stay against the Soviet forces. Just look at this, attacks near Dnieper are going really really good. Also the British forces declared war against the Deutsches Reich. That will help us a lot, you know? Okay, so now we're doing good in Ukraine, but German forces are near the Moscow and they are doing not so good in Kalinin and Ržov. Germans are going to have problem with people soon. The great counterattack has started. So my counterattacks are going great right now. We're taking back the Soviet Union territories and moving into Ukraine. Like yeah, we are liberating our territories and moving even into the Riga. Okay, so we have liberated almost all Eastern Russia. And from this front now we are pushing to the Eastern Ukraine. You can see that we're trying uh, to capture Sumy, Poltava, Kharkiv and our main goal is to capture Kyiv. Kharkiv operation has ended, the city Kharkiv is cleared from Ukrainian and German forces. Northern Front has started to move back. Oh, so we are invading the right bank of the Dnieper, you can see that. Kriverich, Yavorivka are going to be captured soon. By the end of the September the Soviet front looks like this. Yeah, it's kinda strange. But it's okay, the German forces are near the Moscow, but we don't give a fuck about it. We have captured Kyiv by the October 1942. Red Army is the strongest one. And Circle is happening right now. Yeah, we need only to conquer Dvidipsk for now. And that's all. They're gonna be encircled. Just look at this encirclement. It's crazy. Count how many divisions I have encircled. I think it's about... 40 divisions right there, or even 50. So goodbye German and Hungarian forces. Oh my god. Look at this. We are taking the Sevastopol back to the Soviet Union, as well as the Simferopol. Let's push the Japanese forces in Kerch. Ukraine has capitulated. Forces from the Breslitovsk are moving right here. Just a few more days to control the nearby forces. A lot of divisions are encircled in the Belarus territories. So that means that the RK Poland will capitulate too. East Prussia has been already occupied by the Soviet forces. 
We are almost in Warsaw. They won't go back now from this encirclement. Soviet forces are invading the Hungary, Eastern Hungary. Oh, this encirclement has split up. Oh, Vice Ruslan has capitulated. Now they have really big problems in Belarus. The scale of the Belarus encirclement is horrible for the Stalpakt. Berlin is the Soviet city. Berlin is ours. Okay, so we got one more encirclement in the Eastern Germany. Japanese, what the fuck are you doing in the Wilhelmshaven? 22 Japanese divisions. Are they new citizens of this city or what? Goodbye German Reich, goodbye my love, goodbye. Your time has come, Sweden. Now you should help me to destroy the Republic of Denmark. The German Reich is almost captured, you can see that. Sheesh, look at this encirclement. It's an Austrian encirclement. And another one in the Alsace Lorraine. Shit, Britain, do something with this Japanese, come on. I trust in you, Britain, you have an Australia there. Come on, you even have the Hawaii, so you can invade the Japan. I'm going to invade the Russian Republic soon. Deutsches Reich is almost capitulated. They are locked in the Austrian Alps. Yeah, the German Reich has capitulated, finally. All this war is a big achievement of the Red Napoleon, of the Mikhail Tukhachevsky. So let's attack the Russian reactionaries. Let's destroy them. After nine years of the starting of our campaign. Finally, after conquering the whole Europe, from Moscow to Bordeaux, we are going to deal with the legitimate Russian Republic. They must be destroyed. The last piece of the white forces. Now we are going to Vladivostok. Their army can't handle guys who destroyed the German Reich and their puppets. They are too weak. Also, we are preparing the revolution in Mongolia. We need to take Mongolia into our influence sphere. I'm taking forces to them and also I want to take Armenia. Maybe a few parts of the Ottoman Empire or Republic of Turkey. The Union of Soviet Socialist Republics declared war on Mongolia. Let's go. Let's go and take Mongolia. I can't read these names of their cities. That's kinda hard to me, you know? Mongolia is ours, let's take them. And incorporate to the Soviet Union. Idiom, idiom. I'm invading the Turkey too. I just need to take the whole Kavkaz. Oh, it's just an auto plan, I hadn't done nothing. Just for now, I set this division to go to Constantinople. Oh, so finally Turkey has capitulated. I'm going to take a few territories. Yeah, it's going to be mine territories. It isn't looking bad. Just look at the mine Soviet Union, it looks great. Finally I'm near Vladivostok. This is the end of the Russian Republic, August 1945. Goodbye Russian Republic, goodbye. Oh, Japanese forces are located right here. Also we want to say hi into the southern Sakhalin to Japanese. The whole Korea is liberated by the Soviet forces. Of course, by using some magic forces, the Soviet troops are gonna dislocate in Japan. This is the only one cheating campaign, yeah. I just don't want to make ships in the Far East and play a few more years. Now they have 20 divisions. Sometimes magic can happen in our life. As you can see, no one wants to defend the Japan. No one wants to defend Tokyo, so the Soviet forces are going to the Tokyo to spread the ideas of the socialism in Japan. And to tell Japanese about the great red Napoleon Mikhail Tukhachevsky. Well, the whole Stalpakt has capitulated at the end of the 1945, so let's divide all the states. So yeah, the world has been divided between the United Kingdom and the Soviet Union, the Soviet Empire. That looks great. Treaty of Balikap. Papan. Only Switzerland has left in the Western Europe. Independent Switzerland. I've got one, one problem here. I can't release neither Germany, neither France. Really. Neither Poland. 
So the Soviet Empire uh, looks like this right now, it's our puppets and we won't have the territory in the Africa, let it be it, let it be it. I have this beautiful border in the far east, you can see that I took a few regions from the Japan, I have my own colony Taiwan, I made especially a good border by this river in China, you can see the Beijing government that has Beijing, so all is okay. and. I have a cool border with them, I incorporated Mongolia, Tuva, Manchuria, Korea and Far East Russia. Now the population of the Soviet Union is 460 million people or 470 million people, 470 million people, ok. If we won't count the Germany, Czechia, France, it will be 300 million people, Red Napoleon built the great Soviet Union, the great empire of the Soviet Union. The only one enemy left is the military junta of Edward VIII, Britain, British Empire. So thanks for watching guys, leave the comments below and bye.